focused training, the self-discipline, the character that the armed forces imbue in the young men and women who go through their ranks are all the qualities and virtues that you see in the best schools. Stop being a fucking sorry for yourself. Get a grip of your shit carcass and get up this fucking hill. As I was walking with all my bags and stuff to um, the camp gates, this Land Rover come up beside me and he must have been going up and down the road, you know, picking up people that was he, he could see was going to camp. And he shouted out, are you going to camp? And I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to camp. And he said, right, get in. And he was sort of asking me questions like, what's your name? And I said, ah, oh, Wayne. And he goes, I don't give a fuck about your first name. What's your second name? And I remember thinking like, oh, OK. So I said, Sharrocks. And he's like, right, where are you from, Sharrocks? And I said, um, Northern Ireland. And he goes, you don't sound very fucking Irish. So you're fucking very old. Starting to do my nutting. I just remember being really shocked at how um, we was being spoken to, actually. I wasn't used to being spoken to, like, um, a piece of milk, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. You know, like at school you get spoken to like fairly all right, didn't you? Um, but when people are like swearing at you and, you know, um, stuff like that, it's quite intimidating for a 17-year-old. I don't really know how to deal with it. Seriously, I asked you to do one fucking thing and it was do that fucking list on the board. You're in this constant <laughs> stress of people trying to break you all the time and constantly putting you under stress all the time. The military wants you to close down the front of your brain, which is the thinking part, the bit that asks questions, and to activate the back of your brain, which is the, the oldest part of your brain, which is the fight or flight mechanism. Right now, you've got me fucking virgin! Over a six month period, we went through a brutal and life-changing, brain-changing um, indoctrination process. They want um, brains that respond immediately to orders. Advance! Without filtering through the, is this the right thing to do? Is this the wrong thing to do? Does this suit me? That needs to be cut off. And after six months, we could do this for ages, for like an hour. Just stood like this, or sat, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And then to check that the training was sinking in, and that we would follow orders without question, they would say things like tongues. We'd raise it, put our hands down, and stick our tongues out. And then a screw would go along and pinch everyone's tongue with their thumbnail. And then they'd shout, chins. And we'd all stick our chins out obediently and get punched in the jaw. And that was a check, a check to make sure that the training had sunk in and that we'd follow orders without question. <laughs> 